Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule of Waves 2 as Germany episode number 55. 55. Yes, 55. <laughs> so here we go. One more turn, one more video at war. It's been uh, three years. Going on four. Still haven't taken Haiti, despite the fact that the United States has declined combat and we've had an overwhelming force supremacy there for uh, a year. Eight months? Eight months. Let's say eight months. Um, last time we actually did... Okay, so here's another one that they just decline and... Accept. <gasps> Finally! Wait, what did I accept? Oh god! Suppress enemy airfields. We're just going to run away from this objective. What is my objective? I don't even know. <laughs> what are we trying to do in this one? Don't have control yet. Not yet. Okay, we have control. Let's flee. <gasps> Weather limits air operations! Go back in! What are we even trying to do, though? What the f... What? What is wrong with this game? <laughs> I think I'm being shot at by a submarine. I don't know, though. Weather could lift at any time. So I think we are just going to have to take this at one as a draw. Oh, no. Well, we can go and look for whatever we want to look for. Since it's now nighttime. It's a draw. Okay, well, eh, whatever. <gasps> the thing! It maintained! Oh, that's wonderful. The screen size is maintained. I actually did this in the off, um, in between videos. I opened the game. It was still small-sized. I resized it. I saved and I exited. Just didn't do anything. Just to try to, like, fix this dimension into the memory. And it worked. Hmm. Okay. Next. There it is. Okay. Seven Corvettes are commissioned. Better reduced armor weight. That's fan fantastic. New dive bomber prototypes. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Okay. So I'm seeing nine maneuver. This is good. Nine toughness. <gasps> Finally, we broke through 1,400 pound bombs. Those are something to be feared. Now, I'm looking at maneuverability, toughness, speed, range. We lose speed, but we gain range. I mean, this has the best qualities of these. It's a little bit slower. But the dive bombers are just so damn fast anyway. And the longest range, which I'm going to say is actually more important than I'm giving it credit for. So we're going to pick up this last one. It is a little bit slower, but it is still freaking fast. The fastest one we have. And basically, in every way, it's going to be by far the most dominant. The easiest choice to say, make this exclusive. Especially because we don't really have great reliability. So I'm going to do that one. <laughs> they're really true. I think, isn't this the second time they've upgraded this? Please give us a chance. Uh, the range, I mean, look, you can't fault the range, but what did they do with it? This is not even, it's not even showing me the comparison. So 155 versus 205, you can see that the speed difference is enormous. Although we do expect the torpedo bombers to be much slower. 
I'm a little surprised that the torpedo bombers are that much further ranged. Um, okay. No, strudel. And we're just going to decline these. I don't care. We're waiting for the war to end now. We've already taken what we want to take, which is like everything. So we may end up wanting to take Guantanamo Bay. It's only a value of one. I mean, we're, we're that's the last American holding. I mean, I guess they are always gonna have the Gulf Coast home area in the Caribbean, so we can never take that away. Obviously, it makes sense that the, you can't kick them out, but that will be, um, I mean, this is obviously as good as we can do. Beep, beep. And then really it's only Great Britain. This is basically New Germany. And we'll definitely take the Philippines. And the one thing I was, I mentioned this in a comment, one thing I'm kind of considering doing actually is using, okay, by the way, what's our, why is our invasion technology not increasing? I don't understand that. I may have to take a look and see if we're bugged out again. Yeah, things look pretty good as far as the research values go. We probably want most everything on medium. ASW I really want on high right now. <laughs> um, I'm going to take anti-aircraft guns down to medium. No, you know what? Those are going to be very important. Maybe I'll take... No, we want fire control because we want radar. That's going to be fun. I have never experimented with that yet. Turrets and gun mountings. I'm really not sure what we have left to to improve upon there. Since we already bought our major swath of submarines, I might even put these down to low. I think I will put them down to low. And one thing we can do with our money is just continue to try to accrue some more subs. We're going with this coastal submarine strategy. Which means how many do we have total? Not that many. 40 building? That's really not as many as I want. The good news about these is they build quickly, and their maintenance isn't too high once they finish. 300, not bad. We got a whole bunch. They might even come into the picture of this uh, in this war if, <laughs> if it doesn't end soon. Um, aircraft types. So the new developing prototype. We're just gonna obsolete the other dive bombers. Once that new one is there it will immediately kick in and will be bought and replaced any of the other ones that currently exist. And I think that's that's a good idea. Next one we want to propose is a new fighter. We'll continue to drive this speed and maneuverability question, but maybe we can also get firepower out of it. Let's say the Navy can fight on if needed. I'm trying to see what the pop-ups are. Okay, so the only pop-up for prestige is the bottom one. Okay, let's say it. Oh, thank goodness. Peace and hard time. Four points? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta you gotta be kidding me. You, you gotta be kidding me. Well, we'll take Midway since we already have, I think we now have obligations there.
Uh, I'm very disappointed by this point a lot, man. I, I just can't believe that. All right, I mean, eh, it's okay. I'm not gonna make it. I don't. I actually maybe it's not as bad as I'm thinking. God, no, actually, it's six to one victory points. Three hundred and seventy thousand to seventy thousand. That's a huge victory point. <laughs> And, and regardless of the actual victory points, how many ships did we lose in this? How many did the Americans lose? They lost their whole navy. You would expect the Americans to be just on their knees. The main problem is I don't have enough to take the Philippines, which is, that's the only thing I wanted to do. Just give me five points in this. I, I sometimes, I mean, thankfully this game is obviously not that advanced and I mean it's you know it's very functional for what it sets out to do but I sometimes feel like I need to cover my mic because it here's what I want to do and it's like oh I heard Tortuga wants to take the Philippines let me just give him one less point than he needs a little sadistic I don't know what I'm gonna do midway I'm not even sure I want to take Guantanamo. I mean, I don't want to go back to war with the Americans. I really hope I don't. It was interesting, but I think it's going to be a lot more fun if we fight just Italy or... I mean, Great Britain is still ultimately the the final bullseye, the final target that, won't, that we want to line up. Um, they, I, didn't, I thought I would get like 10 points here. <laughs> Maybe at least eight, six, whatever. Can't even take Hawaii. I didn't even think about taking Hawaii. And if I had gotten like ten or eight points, I was thinking about grabbing some of these. Like I could have grabbed all these four. I mean all these three. Libya, Rhodes, Albania. That would have set me up well in the um, Mediterranean. And then maybe a war with France to isolate a few more territories. I don't know. There's basically not much to say. We're going to take these two. And I don't really want to take the Eastern Aleutians because that will open up a whole nother can of worms. Another foreign station. Uh, okay, so I think we're just taking these two. Let me go one by one and see if there's anything I want. I don't want Libya. Don't want Rhodes. Don't want Albania. Don't want Sardinia. Can't afford it. Can't afford, can't afford, can't afford. I can get Maine. That's crazy. But I can't afford it. Um, Falkland Islands. I don't want that one. Hawaii can't afford. Eastern Lucians don't want. And Alaska can't afford. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll take our one point. You might be wondering why you would do that. But you do get a lot more in terms of compensation to your budget by not taking a colony than you do for taking a colony. So it's a good idea. Technically, the highest budget increase you can get is by never taking territories, but the downside of that is that you don't have um, uh, bases. So the Eastern Aleutians, I just don't think that that would have been a good choice. We now have Midway. So probably what we want to do is build a lot more. I mean, I might actually be a little bit short on funds for a bit here. So we'll probably get everyone into reserve fleet immediately. And I want to use these as my foreign stations. So these count, I think, as 1,000. Let's just call them 1,000. So let me slowly suss out what I need here. I need seven in West Africa. Nine in Indian Ocean. Oh, they're working up. All right, let them work up for a bit. Let's try to move everyone back to... Northern Europe. We'll kind of figure out where we want people to go from there. Some may be retiring. If 
510 maintenance, which is, which is actually 425. So 425 maintenance is still kind of a lot to pay for a carrier. Obviously, we have ones that cost a lot more than that, but... Pretty happy with the Sturmbringer class. They just perform very well. And I've had a few people saying the Owen Solorns are just about done, that we should scrap them. Congratulations to them. They have just eclipsed the 30 year mark of service, which is really impressive. 30 years out of a ship. <laughs> uh, it's older than most of the people serving on it. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's pretty funny. I was going to move this um, Owen Solorn back, but I I think it actually is, belongs in Northeast Asia, or in the Asian theater. Fire, foyer Drakers will move back. I think it's only when you move battle cruisers that you have the screen shift to the bottom of the destroyers. Um, the Mosul is going to get scrapped, so she's got to move back as well. And now, I want the slick teams. Oh my god, we have so. We, the Valkyries were sunk by the submarines so much that. Oh my god, we have none left. We might need to build another cruiser, or sorry. Corvette, make it another long range colony, colonial, whatever, and then just make it very good at ASW. I think we'll do that only once we get better forward ASW mortar. Then, yeah, then we'll do that. What kind of ships do we have under construction right now? We need 10 months for these Valkyries. Well, look at I'm happy that we have more Valkyries in production. We have a lot of refits to do too. I mean, we have a lot of money that we're going to want to spend very quickly. Um, I don't know what Intel. I mean, this is insane seeing tensions this low. I don't know what to do with myself. Not many Sudslifas. Sudslifas, I mean. Sudslifa. Um, not many of them actually survived. <laughs> We're down to three. And they're a good class, too. Probably going to have to do a lot of refits to get um, better anti-aircraft protection. Yeah, we're not really doing much. I'm kind of stalling. I'm a little bit tired. I can kind of tell that I'm not making snap decisions very easily right now. Uh... And this stuff doesn't even require really a snap decision, just some kind of activity. Okay, well. Well, 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 well. Bockenheim's. <laughs> just gonna leave them. Alright, alright, we'll leave everyone else. Uh, Graf Zeppelin, yeah, she's she's got to come home for a refit. In fact, maybe she's the first refit I do. So right now she has director four-inch guns on her secondaries. That's actually pretty good. The thing we'd like to get is a director's. She can do that. And then medium guns. Good. More of that, more of this, more of that. Um, I think that that's good. We don't want dual purpose because these are actually going to... <sighs> okay, it's 1500 to rebuild her. What happens if I... Do this. I'm trying to think if we just 
kind of revive it. Well, what are we going to do with that space, though? Oh, well, that's kind of a silly question. You can always get more aircraft. Sweet, we can get deck edge lifts as well, which increases the decreases the readiness time, I guess. So that actually does seem like a pretty good refit, which is six months at 400,000. That's not too bad. I think we can afford that. It will have slightly better... I mean, this ship will have slightly better... Um, anti-aircraft as well. I don't think she was really lacking in that to begin with. Let's see, is this possible? Yeah. Okay, we'll take her down to 49. And dual purpose those. Okay. Can we, by the way, get dual? Is that possible? Oh my god, it is. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Well, I think it's important to do this, so we're going to go ahead and do it. She is going to have a lot of anti-aircraft capability. <laughs> ah, okay. I think that this is fine though. We're okay if we just drop off like these. Yeah, there we go. Fire control, we might as well go to advanced director. Um, we're losing a lot of aircraft now. We're actually losing aircraft. I think this is still the right thing to do. This looks good to me. How expensive are we talking now? Wow! Holy cow. I guess adding the double guns was very expensive. Well, that's not a refit we're gonna do right now, at least. In fact, Graf Zeppelin is, she's like borderline a case where we might wanna sell her even, I mean scrap her. The Rhinelands do need to be refit, but we'll get to that when we can start seeing a little bit more money. So let's get this group to reserve fleet. It's gonna say a lot of them can't, that's fine. We're saving, what is that, a lot of money as it is. Um, yeah, you guys, if you're going to be in reserve fleet, then let's just start getting you where we want you to go. So what was this area map again? There's a lot of tedium stuff that I'm gonna to have to get through here. So seven to West Africa and nine to the Indian Ocean. Nine to the Indian Ocean. I'm hoping that this is actually one more than I need so that one of them can be accidentally like in repairs without having me lose a little bit of foreign station. Keeping me satisfied on foreign station requirements. But I don't know how things round that's the big question. I don't know how they round for, um, uh, like, how does 900, I think it's plus 20%. So it puts us like 1,000, I mean, sorry, it's not quite 1,100. It's like 10,000, 1,000, like 1,080, maybe. I, I, if, I don't know why it's so hard for me to do math right now. It should be 20% should be, yeah, okay, that was actually right. <laughs> So shot in the dark, but it was right. Um, yeah, so it's, it's 1,080. Is that counted as 1,100? Because they don't talk about foreign, they don't talk about tonnage for ships in terms of anything less than 100. Everything's rounded to the nearest 100. So it should round up, right? Oh, improved dive bombers, what the hell is that? Does that mean I need to, I think that means I need to do another aircraft type we're doing a fighter right now, so we'll go to dive bomber next. All right, so those guys are going to in the ocean.
You guys are already in West Africa. So I think I will get you actually to move to the Indian Ocean as well. And then what else do we need? We need so 5,000 on the South Pacific. Let's get that one covered as well. So we'll get six for that. Was it South Pacific? Does that mean I don't need any in the Central Pacific? I don't. Okay, very good. Makes me happy. Okay, let's turn off invasion range and we're gonna get not them but these guys at least to be on mothball. Okay, we just want to save a little bit of money. Okay, we want to get all these guys except for... Nope, you know what? Without exception, we want everyone to go to Reserve Fleet. Let's move you back to Southeast Asia. Yeah. Move you to Northern Europe. Where you will go to... Um, Mosul, Mosul, where's the Mosul? Can you move your butt to Northern Europe? Okay, that's good. Send a diplomatic note. You can tell I'm running out of steam. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to call this video to a close soon. By the, way, by the way, I think that this video will go out around Tuesday, even though I'm recording it the previous week, that's way in the future for me. But uh, I am going out of town for a bit, so trying to do a little bit of a get a little bit of a uh, backlog before going away. everyone here to reserve fleet again that saved us another million <laughs> get everyone here again to mothball and everyone else here to reserve fleet don't need to bother with these guys because we know that they won't be able to be in reserve fleet they'll all be on foreign stations so the next place we need people is Northeast Asia. We probably don't need anybody but Corvettes. I'm trying to put in Corvettes, by the way, my philosophy here is put them where we don't need our main ships. Okay. This is good to know. 165, 150. 4, 165, 150. Formation of types of cross the Atlantic led by a permanent air marshal. An impressive feat will come for a medal. By the sense sense, we should strengthen. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. Sure. Improve range for cruisers. Okay. Improves invasion capability. Hooray! Finally! <laughs> air sea rescue improves private survival and thus mitigate experience degradation from air losses. Very good. Uh, do you want to institute air sea rescue service? This will improve pilot survival in wartime, but will increase air related maintenance. This is a one time choice. Ooh. <laughs> Arrangements are for weaklings and cowards. I think we're going to say yes. By the way, the, the best news about this whole thing is as long as we don't go to war with the U.S. again. They're going to have a ton of aircraft carriers. We'll say yes. 
Okay, we need to do aircraft type as well. We're still doing the fighter. Okay, fine. We're positive on money, which is nice to see. I want to scrap the Mosul. And we've got to build up a little bit of money before we do... What? Please move. Don't know how many times I need to tell you. Okay, you need to move as well. keep one of you guys on foreign stations, but the other one needs to come back. Okay, good. Okay, let's get the slickings back as well. Well, actually, they may be... So I was trying to figure out, this is 6,000 tons on foreign station for 140. And this is a thousand tons for 20. It's not that much better. I'd way more like light cruisers than Corvettes. It's not that much. So it's seven times for six times, um, seven times the maintenance for six times the displacement on foreign stations, but that also doesn't take into effect, uh, account that these light cruisers are so much more potent in battle. So I, you know what, I really don't know if I th see the viability of this of this plan. And maybe I did just make a mistake by making these two combat effective. Maybe we can get a cheaper version. We'll see with the ASW thing. Oh my god, off camera, of course, I'm going to have to go and, which one is this? I'm going to have to adjust all the air groups again, take them down to one. Okay, so I'll probably call this video to a close soon. I know it'll be a, a short one, a rare short one, but, wow, this is extremely fast. Do you remember it was like 165 for theirs, and mine's got a speed of 250 for crying out loud. Operational range was, what, like 100 and something for them 160 maybe so that's a little bit more comparable we have a fighter request in progress as well oh yeah all these air groups we gotta thin out the herd and I do have to make sure I'm glad I looked here I have to remind myself when we want to um, refit these aircraft we have to put their people on reserve otherwise they lose all their experience it's basically they just are started from scratch so that's not good anyways I am gonna call this video to a close here because I am just way too exhausted I cannot record anymore I'm not even gonna make sense but things are looking really good obviously the German Empire under the helpful assistance of Tor Turpitz has expanded in almost every way. I think we've expanded in Africa as well, certainly in Southeast Asia. We uh, expanded in Northeast Asia, the Central Pacific, huge expansion in the Pacific. The Caribbean has just blossomed in Northern Europe. We took Finland, I mean, the, sorry, didn't take Finland, but the Baltic States took Iceland. It's been a very, very successful series thus far. And I don't think it'll be this successful in the future, so we should really indulge and enjoy this while we can, because um, Germany is a very easy nation to play as, and I played under pretty easy settings. I did that because I don't know World of Waves 2. I didn't want it to be a total flop, total failure, but next time we don't, I, I would say we should not expect um, this ease of play. We will probably expect a little higher difficulty. Anyways, for now, thanks for watching, and uh, so this is Tuesday, probably, when I release this. Next video will probably be out Thursday, unless for some reason I'm able to get... No, I, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to do the next one until um, Thursday. Oh, maybe I can... Yeah, 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 Thursday. It'll be out Thursday. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, uh, the, the, there should just be a few... Just a, a, There'll be a couple of days where I only do videos every other day. And I really want to get into another series. I know this is not 
a channel discussion video, but I'm thinking of doing Hearts of Iron 4 with the naval campaign, playing as Japan so that we can try to take on the United States. Because, you know, I'm not done, after all this victory in the Caribbean, I'm not done beating up on the United States quite yet, I guess. <laughs> anyway, until the next video, thanks for watching, and take care.